Good morning, Casa community. It's me, Mr. Lesher, with Luis. And we are here on June 3rd. It is a Thursday. It is another great day for EOG testing. We got our fifth grade scientists taking a test today, our eighth grade scientists taking a test today, and our seventh grade readers taking a test today. So good luck, everybody. And we have a lot of awesome segments for you to enjoy. But before we check in with those segments, where do we go first, Luis? What weather? with Miles. Yep, take it away, Miles. Good morning, Casa community. Today the high is 78 degrees. There is a 95% chance of rain with winds up to 10 miles per hour. The low tonight is 66 degrees with 86% 80, uh, chance of rain. Until tomorrow, I'm Miles, your Casa meteorologist. Up next is celebrate the birthdays. All right, we've got only one birthday today. Uh, today we have Kiara in Mr. Alexander's class. So have an awesome birthday, Kiara. I think you're an eighth grader, so good luck on your test also. Now, what a great way to get ready for your test, but with the word of the day. And who's in charge of word of the day, Luis? Keenan. All right, so Keenan, give us a great word of the day. Word of the day. Today's English word of the day is contingent, which means depending on something else that may not or may occur. Getting to go to the park is contingent on me finishing homework. La palabra del día hoy en español es contingente, lo que significa depender de algo más que ocurre o no ocurre. Ir al parque contingente de que termine mi tarea. Thanks for listening, Casa Community. Bye! Up next is Joking with Jax. Hi, Casa Community. Welcome to Joking with Jax featuring Bryn and Nora. Do you want to hear a joke about pizza? Nah, uh, it's probably too cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Casa Community. Back to you, Mr. Lesher. Casa, did you know that third graders and fourth graders are done with their test? And did you know that we have a did you know show? So let's go to our did you know show. Ooh, gosh, did you know? Hey Molly, you never told me. What's your favorite Arctic animal? I like polar bears. They're really cute. They are really cute. Did you know polar bear fur is actually clear and only looks white because it reflects light? Under all that fur, their skin is black. Wow. And a male polar bear can weigh 10 times the average person. Wow, they're really heavy. Hopefully they don't break the ice. Yep, they get a cold bath, that's for sure. Bye, Molly. Bye. Up next is how to draw with Sadie. Hey guys, welcome back to How to Draw. Today we're going to be drawing a dolphin. Remember, you can pause the video, things are going too fast, and leave suggestions in the comments for what I should draw. Let's get started. So, to start our dolphin, we're going to draw a line that curves up slightly. Don't curve it too much. And then draw the fin, so a line that curves up a little bit. Curve it around. And bring it back. And then another line that curves down slightly and then curve it quite a bit right there. And then for the little nose draw a line that kind of goes outward. So it's gonna go like that and it's gonna be skinny. And then draw a line that continues from there this way and then the fin, so a little V, short of U shape, I guess, and then bring it around and add a tail to your your dolphin. And then, of course, add an eye, and you can add 
a splash. I don't know. I don't really. You can add whatever you want. But, yeah, that's how you draw a dolphin. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye! Casa community, would you rather have the first day of school again, or be the last day of school again? I bet you you'd like to have the last day of school. Well, we're not there yet, but let's check in with the Rojas family. With Hello, Casa community. Are you ready for your day? Just would you rather? I sure am. So, Laura, would you rather have a rotten egg or rotten milk? Um, milk, I think? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, Elisa, would you rather have, um... As a meal, I guess, or as breakfast. Scrambled eggs or a fried egg? Scrambled eggs. I like scrambled eggs better. I, yeah, just scrambled eggs. We would love to hear what you would rather do, so get us shows in the comments. See you tomorrow, Casa, for more. Would, would you rather? Up oh, next is quarter of the day. Oh, hi, Casa. This is Ethan bringing your quote of the day. Your quote today was said by Tim Fargo, an author. What he said was, Who you are tomorrow begins with what you do today. This means that before tomorrow comes, you should seize the chances today to do great things because how other people view you is based on your actions. So, Casa, are you going to do great things today to be known for great things tomorrow? Buen dia! Well, Casa community, that wraps us up for another stellar newscast. And don't forget to stick around to see information about our upcoming field days. They're both virtual uh, Tuesday of next week, and then Wednesday and Thursday are for our students at Casa. We only have one week of school left, so make it a great one. So on behalf of myself, Mr. Lesher, with my trusty co-host, Luis, we hope you have a great Thursday. Bye. Bye.